Okay, we're to our next goldfish uh, property renovation. This is our biggest development we've taken on. It's a 150,000 square foot warehouse, give or take. We are planning to cut it up into four or five separate units to rent out to different tenants. We've got a new fence going in on the property, brand new electric gates. We're completely recladding it. New LED lighting in and external to the warehouse. A complete new car park. Uh, new grass, complete new net landscape. So hopefully when you're back in about three months time, you'll see a completely brand new property. Okay, that was January 2019. It's July 2021 now, two and a half years later. But we've got there, we've finished the building, the final bits have been done this week and the tenants have moved in. So in the end, we spent a lot more money than we thought. We thought we were gonna spend a half a million quid, but we spent two and a half million pounds in the end. But when we started, we realized we wanted the property to really generate rent with no problems for the next 25 years. So we really upspec the property and did so much more than what we thought. And the main problem is, as we're going along, when we said we'll just do this wall and repair this, when you repair that area, it made the other area so dated so in the end, we ended up painting every single wall just to get the property to the goldfish standard and what we wanted it. And the list is that long of the stuff that we did. I'm going to have to read it from my phone. So here we go. So first of all, we did new windows throughout the offices and warehouse. Made a beautiful reception with electric doors. Upgraded the heating system. A completely new fire alarm system with sensors in every single room throughout the whole building. Multiple office and toilet facilities. Divided the unit with a 300 meter two hour fire wall so we can have four separate tenants. Painted every inch of steelwork yellow. Multiple air conditioning systems. Completely rewired the whole building, installed new lighting rigs, electric submeters hundreds of meters of armco barriers to protect the walls and make it look cool. Hundreds of signs, flags and warning notices. Three miles, three miles of yellow and white car parking signs. Enough external lights to put Blackpool to shame at Christmas. A new security system. Multiple electric gates. Relayed over three acres of tarmac for a new car park as well as de demolishing multiple buildings and laid hundreds of tons of concrete. New laser level floor in the warehouse for wire guy forklift. Not one, but 10 new roller shutter doors. 46 new fire doors, all painted yellow. Not one, but four new kitchen facilities. And on top of that, we built a complete new gym fitness studios, treatment rooms, showers and a bike studio, as well as a window showroom and a manufacturing facility for acorn aluminium. And not to mention the most expensive and unexpected thing, we spent just shy of a million pounds putting a new roof and gutters on the property. So the big question is, was it actually worth it? Two and a half million quid, two and a half years of hard work. But at the end of the day, we moved one tenant out. We've got five now. We've doubled the rent roll and the value of the properties gone from four million to over 10 million pounds. So yeah, yeah, I do definitely think it was worth it. But a lot of lessons learned, a lot of mistakes that I've made, but you know, as long as you don't make those mistakes again, they were valuable lessons. So if another project came on like this, would I do it again? Hell yeah. I just want to say a big thank you to Hamilton, in particular Chris Hamilton and his team. Uh, Chris, Hamilton, Chris was our principal contractor and without him I don't think, well we wouldn't have got the project finished uh, to the standards needed to get through building control. He really had a huge huge big attention to detail and really nice guy really really good to work with and from there he's worked with us 
after Glazedale, he did a lot of the weed cladding work on the Houghton store and then did some work for us on our free, both our two Freestone Drive properties to get them up to building control standards. So thank you Chris, much appreciate it and I look forward to working with you soon. Take care.